Hey, Pat and Jack. I'm Jake with Camping World here in Boise, Idaho. I'm standing in front of the 2012 Mesa Ridge, the 357 that you inquired about. I'm going to walk around the outside as well as the inside, and I hope you like it. Okay, here at the front, uh, as you can see, it's got the front gel coat cap, which is very nice, uh, very well insulated, as well as it wraps around the corners here. Um, so the sidewall actually comes up here into the cap, so the chance of leaks are very minimal. Um, this thing is in excellent, excellent condition. Um, uh, you're going to hear me say that a lot because it really is in good condition. Um, here at the front, with all the open ranges that came with the JT strong arm jacks as far as stabilizing, uh, really a nice uh, upgraded feature. As you open this up, it is generator ready. I'll show you on the other side all your propane. This is on the uh, off door side that we're going around now. But you'll have a little slide out tray here with two five gallon propane bottles. A lot of manufacturers are going to the five gallon bottles because you can just exchange them at any service station rather than having them filled. This compartment here is, uh, there's quite a few different things in here. First of all, this does have the electric jacks, electric leveling system. So your landing gear and everything's all gonna be right here. It is 50 amp service because it's got two, uh, two air conditioners. Full pass through storage here. This is where your water system is. Um, you're gonna have city water, you're gonna have your sewer flush, outside shower. Of course, all your sat uh, satellite and cable prep, as well as 110 outlet in here. Both gray and black tanks are right here. And then it does have the winterization um, quick connect there as well. Hot water heater is located here. This is going to be a 10 gallon gas electric water heater. So that's an upgraded hot water heater. Most of these come standard with a uh, with a six gallon gas electric versus a 10. You got 50 amp service, of course, but it is all a sealed unit as well. So mice and stuff can't get up inside. And now they've put this little LED light on the outside. So when you're at a campground, if you don't have power in the coach and you're plugged in, you can come out here and see if the light's on. If the light is off, you know that you don't have any power from the pole to here. Uh, if the light is on, then you know that you had a, a problem with the trailer. So, uh, as far as diagnosing, it cuts your time down in about half, and uh, just really a nice little feature. Slide out seals look good. Of course, there I haven't seen any body damage at all on it yet. So, just really in in good clean shape. It doesn't look to be used that much. Uh, it was bought here locally. I'll climb up here on the roof real quick to show you the roof. So as you can see, I mean, other than a little dust, it there's no never been ripped or torn or patched or anything like that. All the sealant looks good on it. Again, dual air conditioning. You also have a max air vent for the front uh, vent up there. TV antenna. That cracking that you're hearing as we're going up and down the ladder is just the ladder moving up there at the top because it's not you can take this whole back ladder off if you want to slide out seals look good on this side as well i do see a little crack right here in the fender skirt but other than that she looks pretty good of course this does have the big electric awning this is a huge awning for this size of a coach really a, a nice big awning there um, of course, you're going to have uh, just more storage over here on this side. This is the other side of the pass-through storage. Looks like they've uh, wired up some outside speakers here as well. This is where you are uh, got two other five-gallon bottles on this side as well. So you're actually going to have uh, 20 gallons of propane on the coach. You got two five gallon bottles on this side, two five gallon bottles on the other side. 
pretty cool they slide in and out on that tray that makes it easy as we go inside the coach you're gonna have a three-step system here as well as the large grab handle which makes it nice to go inside um, open range is one of the only ones that actually uh, this this little screen uh, window here on the front entrance door opens up to get a little more air circulation coming through the coach and then of course it's got a little uh, blind here of you know to keep it from people being able to see inside we talked a little bit about the leveling but it's a four-point electric leveling system uh, it is a four season protected coach and uh, just a really really nice nice coach it's got the uh, Similite sidewalls uh, just a, it's the gray sidewalls, just an upgraded uh, fiberglass. So, as far as tires go, the tires look good. Um, does have the buddy loop bearings, aluminum wheels as well. So that's the outside of the coach. Let's go inside.